Alrighty folks, today we're going to do a quick little review on the Ely hose reel and the Flexzilla or Legacy automatic hose reel. So this is the Ely hose reel. Manual powered hose reel. This thing's a beast. I have not had any problems with this. I have 200 feet of Flexzilla 5 8 inch hose. I think that if you have a normal 5 8 inch hose, it only still like 150 feet. I'm pretty sure I tested that actually. Um, but since the Flexzilla is kind of squishy, it, as you wind it up, it like compacts down and I fit 200 feet on as you see here. So this is not one of the automatic hose reels. And so I don't know if you'd say that's a con of this hose reel is that you have to manually wind it up because I am not aware of any automatic hose reel that can hold 200 feet of hose and definitely not 5 8 inch hose because all of the automatic hose reels that I'm aware of are half inch hose. So if you want the bigger diameter, you got to go manual and as far as manual hose reels go, the Ely is one of the most researched. So if you know of the lawnform.com, these are all people who go above and beyond for their lawn and they all research the craziest, most, maybe not necessarily considering price, but the most effective and the best, the things to have on your lawn or for your lawn. And they all rave about Ely products. The hose reel, the quick connects, which I also think are amazing, by the way. Um, Ely makes awesome products and they'll last forever. This stuff is super heavy duty. Uh, I don't know, there's a little bit of plastic on here, but, they're, but it's not like, you know, cheap plastic. I'm not sure that you'll find anything that's gonna wear out over a really long time on the Ely hose reel. Um, as far as like how easy it is to unroll and roll back in, it's way easier to unroll. You can mount this thing differently. So I've got mine mounted to where I can take the hose out that direction. So I will say what is kind of a pain is since I have it mounted this way and I use the hose all different directions, it is kind of cool because I can pull the hose out and go that way, which I do sometimes. I can pull the hose out and go that way, which I do. But if I pull the hose out and I've got the sprinkler that way, you can imagine how that doesn't work very well reeling it back up. So you either have to like stand here and reel it back in so the hose is pulling around me and reeling back this way or just pull all the hose out that direction and then reel it up. So that's a thing, uh, just keep that in mind. You could choose to mount it that way um, and then obviously reel it in this way but then it wouldn't reel in from that way. So it doesn't swivel, so keep that in mind. Oh, I also told you about me having 200 feet of Flexilla 5 inch hose on here. I have the extra capacity kit which is a center cylinder that goes in the middle that makes this whole thing wider. So if you don't have the extra capacity kit, it would be like this much shorter, if that makes sense. And so it just holds, holds less hose. But on the website, they tell you how much hose it will hold with and without the extra capacity kit. So the mounting process was pretty simple. As you can see, the bolts just straight into, we found the studs um, behind the siding here, straight, straight into the studs. They provided all that. So anyway, mounting straightforward. They do have a couple of different types of hose reels. So they have a wheeled cart. So it's basically the same reel, but that's on a wheeled cart. So you can roll up your hose and then wheel it into the shed or into the garage or whatever. So it's not just sitting here on your house. Um, so that's another option for people not wanting to have the hose reel sitting out all the time or their hose sitting out all the time. It's up in there a couple hundred dollars and depending on the extra capacity kit, I think $240 for the whole thing. Um, you get what you pay for, right? So it's gonna last a long time. On the Ely website, they do talk about their 10 year warranty, which is super cool. But yeah, I feel like that kind of does it um, as far as like my, maybe out of 10, it's gonna be up there. You gotta give this eight or nine stars as far as a manual hose reel is concerned. Okay, so now on to the uh, Flexzilla automatic hose reel. I saw it advertised as legacy brand somewhere. I don't know where that came from because I don't see it on here anymore. So I don't know if it was on the website when I bought it, but just remember that it was said legacy somewhere, but it is the Flexzilla brand, it has Flexzilla hose inside of it. Um, I've liked it, so it's been pretty helpful. This is not the longest automatic hose reel that's out there. Um, they make them longer. This is a half inch hose. And, and I think almost every single automatic hose reel that I've seen is half inch diameter hose. I don't know that anybody makes one in a, in a 5 8 diameter. So pros, obviously the automatic hose reeling feature, instead of having to like actually manually wind it, that's as you can see, it's like back too far for me to get to it. So that would be a huge pain to have to climb through the bushes to like automatically wind, wind this hose up. Um, however, I will tell you, this one does not automatically reel flawlessly. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, but you have to, it's supposed to you pull it out and it works really well, it like locks out. So you pull it all the way out and you hear click, 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 click. 
and it'll lock in. And so you can leave it there and it won't wind in automatically. But when it goes time to wind it in automatically, you pull until you hear a click and then you let go and it's supposed to wind all the way up. That worked great when the hose was empty and maybe when it was new. I'm not sure if that made any difference, but now that it's it's been a year or over a year since I've had this thing, and when this is full of water, it does not wind in like if it's all fully stretched out. This is too heavy for the thing to pull it all the way back in by itself. Again, I'll show you that. Um, I mean, otherwise, like it's not that big of a deal because I step in here closer to the reel, I pull it out until it starts winding back in, and then I just pull the hose a little bit until it gets some momentum, and then it pulls it in. It's not, it's not bad, it's just not as good as what I heard some of the other automatic hose reels do where you can just literally be stretched all the way out, pull it, and it winds it all the way back in easy. I think it's because of the like uh, rigidness of the hose. This Flexilla like, you know, bends up a little bit, so I think it's a little bit harder for that to pull the flexible hose, whereas some of them that are half inch are more plastic, if that makes a sense. It's more, or if that makes sense, it's more rigid, so it's easier to pull, I think but this gets heavier when it's full of water. Okay, so here we are at the end of the hose, and again, Ely Quick Connects. I love these things. These are flawless. They're so easy to use. See, it's locked in there. Pull the collar. Super simple, super smooth, super buttery. Um, so let's see if we can get it to wind back in. By the way, you can get that to happen if you've only if you've only pulled the hose out halfway, you can pull it a little bit and then it's supposed to go back in, or if you've got it all the way out, you pull it out a little bit, it goes back in. You don't have to pull it all the way out for it to reel back in, but let's see here. So see there, like right now, it's in the winding in phase, but it's not doing it because it's too heavy. If I give it a little slack, it winds it in a little bit, but you see that it stops because this is too heavy when it's full of water for this particular hose reel to wind back up. So what I do, come over here with me, is just come up to here, and you have to pull it in. Like this is still really easy, it's just not as easy as advertised. So. Overall, this Flexzilla hose reel, I don't know if it gets the stamp of approval in my book because I think there are other ones out there that are better and probably cheaper. So we're gonna give that one a thumbs down compared to the competition. So there you have it, two different hose reels. Um, just my quick litter review, hopefully it was helpful if you're shopping for some kind of an automatic hose reel or a manual hose reel. Um, there's my take on those two different types and uh, Thanks for watching. I guess we'll see you later.